you guys. Today let's play Might and Magic 2, Gates to Another World, the second entry in the Might and Magic franchise. Uh, this one is for the Sega Genesis, which came out in 1991, even though the original game was released in 88. Um, but yeah, this is the Genesis port. See, we can go to towns here. Go to towns. Okay. So, um, here's our party here. So we're gonna just gonna hire the pre-made guys here. Uh, Sir Felger, Terrence Dui, Shervala, Jean Eric, Cassandra, and the Hermit. Yeah, that's good. Um, show hirelings. Characters, okay. Uh, we're gonna leave the end. And, uh, be off on our adventure. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is, uh, the, all the graphics and stuff are actually pretty impressive for the time. Um, this is one of those 3D dungeon crawlers. Uh, RPGs. This is a this is one of those old school PC based like original PC RPGs like this. A lot of dungeon crawlers back then. So similar to uh, Eye of the Beholder or Dungeon Master, um, a lot of those 3D dungeon crawling RPGs. That's what Mighty Magic is basically like. So you're 900. Wow. Okay. This must have been uh, back in the medieval ages. Spirit of Korak proclaims: Fantastic adventure awaits you. Do you have time to merge victorious? Yes. Only time will tell. See if we can uh, access the. Uh, there we go. We can rest. Search, unlock, view character, delay disposition, automatic. We're doing a lot of stuff we can do here. The Valkyrie is a male neutral half orc, and uh, this is going based on. Uh, Light and Magic was, of course, very influenced by Dungeons and Dragons, as was a lot of RPGs back then. For the West, um, because Dungeons and Dragons really is kind of the godfather of all modern Western RPGs, including Might and Magic. So yeah, you have uh, a male neutral half orc uh, knight, Rafalgar. Turin Three is a male good dwarf paladin. Uh, Shervala is a female neutral human archer. Jean Eric is a male good gnome cleric. Cassandra is a female neutral elf sorcerer. Hermit is a male evil elf robber. Alright, interesting. Now we're just gonna see here. Uh, let's see, we're all good here. What's disposition be? Cautious, average, aggressive, or thrill. Let's go with average there. Auto map. Okay, well, I don't know what the auto map does. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, so you have this pseudo. It is a 3D perspective, like a first person perspective, so it's, um. I guess you can consider, like, these old-school 3D RPGs, really kind of the uh, predecessor of FPS games, even though they're quite different than FPS games, but they do technically have an FP first-person perspective, so. Um, okay, I'm not going to donate because I don't need any healing, but that's the temple there. Yeah, this came out way before uh, our FPS games came out, so like this is a game originally from 1988. The original Might and Magic game, number one, was from 1986, and that was also first-person. So this is way before any, uh, and Dungeon Master is from 1987, so this is way before any first-person shooters came out. Okay, uh, let's even buy some weapons here. Wait, what do I even have in my inventory? Let's check. Small knife. Oh, I don't have anything equipped, right? I have it in my backpack. Oh, okay, then knowing you have stuff equipped, you gotta equip it first. This stuff. Man, they don't start out with this stuff equipped. That's, uh, that's not good. You can get fooled into thinking they have stuff equipped, because you know, that's why, how it happens in every other game. Right, usually your characters come with stuff equipped, and then you'll just try to find an enemy, and if you don't have stuff equipped, that's not good. Um, so anyways. What do you got? And Chakus. Gold 200. Okay, let's see. Thank you, come again. Short sword. Long dagger. Ancho. Alright, I'm buy one of each. Wait, he has armor too, right? Oh, I'll get some armor too. Ooh, what's today's specials? Interesting. That's not. Still too expensive. Armor. Ring mail, ring mail is expensive. Leather suit. Yep. Leather suit. 
backpack is full. Okay. Well, let's take a look here. Okay, here. Um, I already have a weapon. I have to unequip it then. Oh no. <laughs> I guess we have to trade one of these. There we go. Um, need this and let's equip something. That first might be the best. Give these to people. No, but these old school RPGs, you gotta do this. You gotta do this all manually. You gotta give stuff to people. Oh, actually, let's see. Large club. Look at his um. Does he even get better with the nunchakus? Hard to tell. It's hard to tell what his attack power is, actually. Yeah, it's really kind of hard to tell. Or a sword. Well, like a long dagger, okay. I think... It's hard to tell because I don't even know how, it, um, how their attack changes. They don't show their attack. I'm just gonna assume that long dagger is better than small knife. Full whip and a cudgel. I'm not even sure which is better, but uh, let's equip the cudgel. Small knife and hand, a small club and hand axe. Hard to say which one's better, right? Long plastic grip, okay. Guess I'll have to use that one. Long dagger. Um, let's see. Alright, we start sword, okay. Go with that. Armor. Alright, let's go with the uh, leather suit. Oh. Small shield, padded armor, padded armor, padded armor. Okay, there. You have enough for. Well, not everyone, but that's how much I can afford, anyways. And Erwin, and this one too. Who's going to be in front of my party anyways? Ah, uh, okay. Not anyways. Leather suit, actually? Yeah, it's equipped with leather suit. Give it to the robber. Let me do this one to the robber here. I'm good now. You wish to order from Bassman and Jinx. Speeding Frenzy, all. Oh, you don't have enough gold. Oh, you have three gold. Oh, uh, I don't have enough. Actually, I wonder if I can uh, sell my stuff here. Can I go and sell my stuff? Oh, items. Full knife. One gold. I sold my knife for one gold. That's, man, he doesn't pay a lot, huh? Doesn't think highly of my items, so I can sell for one gold. Okay. Wait a minute, I have, I have other items for sale. Why can't I sell those items? Got a dagger. Sell that for two. Oh, I can sell it for character. Small knife, one gold. Full width, cudgel, there. Oh my god, hand axe sold for two gold. This guy pays nothing. He doesn't give me anything. Okay, anyways, I have enough for a beer. Fork beer. What? Wait a minute, didn't I have like nine gold? 
Wait, I think I have to do a gather gold here. Do a gather gold? Gather gold, there we go, 17. Alright, let's do a work here. Great stuff. I mean, that's all he says, great stuff. What's this mystic brew? 100? What does that do? It's a lot. Tip the bartender. Thank you, please get me in. Oh man, this isn't. Didn't give me anything for that. Listen to her news. Okay, children of 015. What a rip. I bought from her. I bought from her and I tipped her and she didn't do anything for me. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is an inn. You signed the registry. Oh, okay. This is where I started out as. That's to uh, hire people, I see. Oh, so you actually start off at the end here. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. You, it's, it's technically a guild, right? You go there to hire people, it's technically a guild. Give me a service. Okay, sure. Your skeleton closet. Hmm, interesting. That end. Okay, let's go to the dungeon then. Where is portal? Right. Change the sand bar for 10 gold. Okay. What does that do? What does that do, anyways? Nice opportunities. Pickpocketing. I don't have 300 gold. Nothing, what the heck? Cheek training arena. Your train. I only have one gold. You need 50. One gold, nothing. Spent all my gold. Okay, so I went to Sans. This is another town. Interesting. And they have a day night cycle in this game, which is really cool. Now I can tell, obviously, it's nighttime. Um, the game got darker, and then you can see stars in the sky, that's pretty cool. Okay, whatever. You guys drunk anyways. Oh, uh, I don't know. Not enough gold. 50 gold to get to another town. Gal's accessories. Wacky Zack she well at least, at least they all have different kind of uh, weapons here at different towns, I guess. But he's selling some skimitar and a wacky Zack sashi. Interesting. Lit mail for 600 gold, wow. No. Look at all these doors. Oh, I'm just saying, okay, let's attack. Uh, flame arrow. So it's a turn based attack system, just like with other 3D dungeon crawler games. That hungry plant. Oh man, it's a mummy. Mummy. Wow, 13 damage, first thing goes down. Oh my god, he exploded. Took down everyone, what the heck? Also, I'm, oh my god, he took down so many of my guys. That stupid exploding cadaver took out, um, four of my guys died from that. Damn. Tribe. Beggar. You're trying to attack dead guys? Seriously? They're trying to attack dead guys. Oh no. No, Sir Felger died. No way. I meant. Sandra's killed, but they're already dead. 
They're already dead. There's zero health. Oh my god, the stupid beggar. No! Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Middle game. Where's, um... Yeah, I have to go stand the bar again. Oh my god, that was embarrassing. I still have all my equipment. Yeah, I still have all my equipment. Nice. Okay. Wings apparel, sure. Oh, now I can go outside. Okay. Cool. Going outside. Okay, let's attack this guy. There's a decent amount of enemies here. There are a good variety of enemies, actually. This is a pig burglar. Oh, yeah, the pig burglar. A burglar with a pig head. Well, actually, it's a pig that's actually anthropomorphic, I guess. Burglar is frightened. Good. Monsters overcome conditions. Okay. We recovered. Oh no. Oh, look at all these spells I can learn. Generate Mega Bolt. Yeah. Nice spell here. Okay, up to Inferno and Starburst. This is all coming from Dungeons and Dragons again, of course. Man, this burger's tough. Still hasn't died yet. Burglar has a lot of health. Man, it took me a long time to kill a lot of health. Look, I got a rest now. Yep. It's usually what you do in these old school DOS games. I mean, it is originally a DOS game, but that's what you do in these original uh, old school PC RPGs. You rest. Yeah, with these dungeon crawlers, you can always rest. You should be able to always rest at any time when there's no monsters around to regain health instead of using, like in a typical. Uh, RPG usually use potions to restore health, but in these uh, dungeon crawler RPGs, should be able to have a rest option. And this game does. Okay, mummy. Your killer Cadaver. So it's actually a mummy. Oh my god, it's exploding Cadaver. A lot of damage. Everyone takes the damage from this. No, the hermit goes down. Oh my god, he just killed everyone from this. Oh my god. Stupid killer Cadavar. That killed almost all my guys. Okay, now it's morning time again. Nice. Well, this guy looks foot soldiers. Look, these guys look tough. This guy looks tough, though. Oh. So let's see what we got here. Turn undead. Don't fail. Oh. Fuck Cassandra. Oh, Sir Felger. Hmm. First aid, I'm gonna do first aid. And Eric needs the most done.
No, Cassandra got killed. Oh, what was that? She got killed. So they're attacking like when they're attacking guys who are already down. And then that kills them. Sucks. Killed. Oh my god, come down. Ugh. I guess we'll try one more time. Accessories. Here. Well, a rat mode. Why are these guys doing, uh, why are they like monsters in all these rooms, anyways? Doing all these rooms. Do people lock up monsters in all these rooms or something? At least there's a nice variety of monsters. Pretty cool. damage. Is there any danger? Okay, I can kind of revive her. So when they're down, they're actually kind of still alive. I see. So it's not until, like, the, that's why, um, I see. So that's why when they're down, they just, the enemies still attack them. Because they're technically still alive. They're just 0 HP. No, they're 0 HP, but they're actually technically still alive. It takes them, like... That's why the enemies attack them when they're down. And then uh, they kill them, I guess, if they uh, attack them when they're down. Cripples, man. The cripples being so hostile. Like homeless people or something? Homeless people are attacking me? goes down. They don't have a lot of health. Cripple goes down. Surprised. Okay. The difference between fight and attack. Whoa, look at the giant rat. Gotta be rats on every single RPG game. Every RPG game has to have a rat in it. That 
Turn back this down. Diseased. So, um, first aid. Magic cannot be used here, really? Fine. Why can't magic be used here? Dangerous to rest. I'm not allowed to rest. There we go. Oh my god, there's a lot of guys here. That's a lot of guys. So if it's a zombie Frankenstein, right? Well, it's a Frankenstein monster. But brainless one? I guess it's a zombie Frankenstein. Yeah. No. And I can't use magic here. Fine. I'm gonna die eventually. Because uh, I can't use magic here and there's too many monsters. Yeah, it cannot be used. I can't use magic to even... Heal anyone here? I can't heal anyone. Okay. Oh god! Oh my god! Killing all my guys now. Guys, too many guys. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That's Might and Magic 2 um, for the Genesis. It is pretty cool because I didn't know that Genesis had a Might and Magic game. It's usually a PC series, so it's surprising, I guess, to find it on console. But yeah, it's a pretty good port, I think. A nice port for the Genesis. So, that's it, guys. If you want to, everyone to play Might and Magic 2, you can find it um, on the Genesis here. It's a pretty solid port. Thanks for watching, guys.